Today I'm demonstrating Uniface source code edited using an Eclipse editor. This is a proof of concept that we're doing. It's based on our UD6 text file source repository for Uniface. Uniface normally stores its source code in a database. We have a special database called UD6 which stores the Uniface source code as text files. So you can hit see there in the file system a couple of forms that we're going to be editing. The IDF works exactly the way that you would normally expect it to behave. There's nothing new, nothing fancy, no import export that you need to do, no fancy menus. You can add a menu into the IDF if you want to control the version control system from within the IDF, but there's no need. Okay, so we've got a couple of entities and we've got a couple of forms. The entities are defined as optimistic locking in the model and here we have the first of the forms. It's a, got the two entities painted and we can go right in and change it. Now as soon as we change that form and save it within the IDF, it's changed the file on the disk. We save it there and we go there it is, still successful. We have a look in the file system and we can see there that the file has turned orange in the version control system because it's changed. Now that file can be versioned using git or subversion or clear case or whatever you want. Now here we've got a slightly simpler form, a single entity form. Now this particular one has got an external variation so that the border is set and cautious locking is set on that entity. Now if we try and change the execute trigger again here, I've got this particular form set up as requiring a reservation. So the developer needs to reserve the file before they can work on it. Now that's, that's a configuration option. It's Some people prefer to work that way, some organizations don't want to work that way. As you can see, reserving it, locking that file, and so that I as a developer can now make the change, very quick and easy to do. I make that change, store successful, go to the file system. Now we can see both of those forms have been changed. We can again do a side-by-side -side diff here, a little facility of the, uh, the version control system that we're using. We can graphically see what's actually changed in that component. Now we can also open up because it's a text file, we can open it up in Eclipse. Now this is a proof concept Eclipse. Understand something about the, the Uniface format, the triggers. So you can see all the triggers there in a single window. You can also drill down to just the triggers in the component, just the triggers in a field, yada yada. And here are the properties. So we're not having to right click all the time to get to the properties. They're just always there. And we can display them in different ways. We can display the properties in, in, a tabula, in, a, in a form type format, a bit like what Uniface does, or we can use this tabular format, which is much more typical of, say, Visual Studio. Okay, and we can see there that the, the model definitions are being read. Now, if we open up the execute trigger, we can see the changes that we made in there as well. The other form has these external variations and we can see at a glance there that they're external. So from within the IDF we couldn't tell that cautious override, overrode optimistic, but here at a glance we can because it's bold. And this is a standard feature of things like Visual Studio. We can also change anything here in the Eclipse editor, save it, compile it, and you can still use the same text, the same source code from within the IDF. We save it there. We could compile it from within the Eclipse editor as well, or we could use a build management type system to build everything that changed. We just check there. This is really key. 
by seeing this visual diff, we can see that the only changes that are visible are the changes the programmer made. There's no you know, date time stamps that have changed, the order of the elements haven't changed, nothing like that. That's a key part of the proof of concept to show that is the case. Please come to one of our demos this month in Europe, Frankfurt Hilton on 21st of May, London 22nd. Call us, email us, come along, have a look at what we're doing here, tell us what you think. Thank you.